Hey guys, RC here, back with Sim Airport. This is episode nine. So, a couple of days have passed. Let's slow it down for just a minute, catch you up to date. Taking a look at our perfect op bonus, so you can see this continues to climb. Now, it does cap out. I think the most I've ever gotten was 54,000, and then you get that for like every consecutive day afterwards. So, anyway, that's what's going on there. Uh, the bank loans are paid off. Uh, profit and loss. Let's take a look at yesterday. We lost twenty nine thousand, but you know we spent two hundred thousand on materials. Uh, you know, so we're we're spending some money. Let's take a look at what we've done. So first off, in security, you can see we've opened this room to where it's all consecutive. You cannot block that with a door. We put a desk in here, and one desk, as we mentioned, can control five of these. We've got four in here right now, and they're keeping up. They're definitely keeping up. Uh, so we've replaced all of our small bag scanners with these larger ones, and we can also now hop in and look at our security, and you can see we have seven extra people. So we can let them go, and that's going to save us $10,000 a day. So right there, boom, big savings. Uh, let's see, what else have we done? We added in the stairway up here to get to the second level. We added the escalator down or up from the bottom level. We have not done anything there yet. Remember we had done this gate. Now let's come up here. We've built this area up here. We've got seating. We've got a PA speaker up here. We've got vending. And we have four gate steps. Uh, for gate desks because this is a large gate. Now you can do with two, possibly three. I, I think the most I've ever done is three. I, you know, I've seen four on the extra larges, but we're gonna go ahead and put four just to make sure this gets processed. And then taking a look, this is gate A3 right here, the large gate. So you can see we have spaced out some flights in here uh, you know what? Let's back this flight up just a little bit right there, an hour. And we've left them with their two-hour default, and we've got plenty of room to expand that out. Now, this is also where once we get the standby, maybe we can do that. Nope, we have not. Let's check our research. Gate control. Standby gates. Yep, 15,000. Let's do that. All right, so we've got that going on. So we've added in a fourth runway, some really big flights. These have 767, 250 passengers. So most of these are all in the 250, a couple of 180s, but they're all large plane, larger planes. So that's going on here. Now what that should do, we're going to speed it up. That should start bringing in significantly more money every day. Did we do the um, advanced securities up? Operations 2. Let's go ahead and research that, or queue it up at least. Because as we start bringing in more people, we've got to be able to get them out of here faster. And in. So we need to increase the buses. So we'll work on that. Let's take a look. Did we get our perfect op bonus for the day? We did. And you see it jumped up another six thousand dollars so that's actually pretty good and you can see we just took a hit that's the midnight bringing in new food and stuff uh you know what we could do that i want to build a um i'm going to build a snack kiosk well i was going to build a snack kiosk need sixteen thousand dollars we'll do that first because those bring in pretty good money but the plane should start coming in. People should start coming in. Now, one of the issues you do have, like right now, this flight is not coming in till later, but you're going to, and let's click on this guy. So he's catching a flight at A1, which is this gate right here. And the entrance is down on the first level, but there's not enough seating. So if you put in benches, they will go to those areas. So I was watching a video uh, this morning, in fact, and they had some benches in baggage claim. Well, you had people that were trying to get 
come back through security to go sit down in baggage claim. So, uh, let's see. A kitchen could not fulfill an order. Missing capabilities. All right. So, let's go check our kitchen out and look at the kitchen overview. We've got it paused. So, we're missing a hot plate. Really? Okay. So, we need a hot plate for sure. All right. Luckily, that's 500 bucks. Aren't these hot plates here? No, that's a prep cart. Okay. We're going to put that right there. Uh, that, so, that's been something I've screwed up. All right, they're building that. Boom. All right, so what are that? Let's check that overview again. All right, so that hot plate opened up all these. So we've been missing out on all of this, right? Now they're able to make crisps, but you need a snack kiosk to put it out. Everything else is going into the cafe. Into the cafe. So we should see. Let's pause it here. Oh, there we go. Revenue yesterday, thirteen hundred dollars. I guarantee it was because we didn't have food. With food, they're going to knock that out, right? All right, let's come up here. I want the snack kiosk. We're going to plop that down right there. And we're going to go in and hire a retail worker for that. Now, normally you get your food deliveries at night, but this product comes from the kitchen, so if they've got it built up, they will transport it up here, and that'll take place pretty quickly. Because they don't have anywhere to sell crisps. Now, we have to wait for our uh, employee. Oh, hold on. We need to assign to... This kitchen. Boom. All right, let's go back up and start it again. There we go. So it's functional. We should get a retail worker in here momentarily. And we should see one of the chefs run up here and stock it in. We shouldn't have to wait till tomorrow. There we go. He just came up 10% and they're already lining up. And we've already made 20 bucks today. Oh, and we need to bump that to 20 bucks. Let's make our money. All right, we've got a plane down here. This is not our first one, but it's our first afternoon. We've already boarded all 217. We're waiting on luggage. And there they are. So he got out one minute. So you know what? We want to we want to extend these and Give them a little bit more time due to the size. And this one here. And this one there. That should be good. I think those will take effect today. They might not. All right. We've got... All right. So we still had a good number of seats left on the bus. We're fine there. But look how quickly our money's jumping up. All right, so while that's going on, let's come back down here. And we are going to want to do... What are we going to want to do? Um, let's come over here. And let's do there. And we're going to make this part of our baggage claim area. Now we're going to have to connect this up and then we're going to have to lay baggage claim in here and that's okay. It's going to take time. This is not going to happen in one episode probably. But we want a big baggage claim so we're going to go ahead and lay it out while we you know we've got money coming in. So we're going to oh that'd be a great time to buy gas. I've heard that it's better to buy gas manually, but until I have big bucks, I'm not I'm not even going to worry about dealing with gas. All right, now 94. What's uh the boredom Inform oh, information. Okay, let's slow it down. Sector display. 
I don't know which one of these is information. I guess it would be that one, wouldn't it? All right, so they're good up here. I bet it's up here. Yep. All right, so this would be flight info. Let's put them coming into the area. And look at that. That one's made 1300 bucks just today. 1700 from that drink machine, 2500 from that food machine. Nothing wrong with that at all. All right. Let's take a look here. Working on the boarding. All right. There's kind of my trigger point. Everything's done except for baggage. We've got 82 minutes. So that means we should get out of here in plenty of time. Just going to watch for the cart. And you need to slow it down every once in a while just to keep an eye on these things, you know? All right, there's the cart, and we've got 25 minutes left. It took a while. Now, if we get our baggage up and running down here, this is going to speed things up, right? It just will. All right, escalator down. We'll put that in there and let them do that. Uh, let's turn off information so we can see better. And I am going to extend our pickup zone out to there. Just to give us a little more room. All right. How are we doing down here? So that's done. The day's over. How did we do? 46,000. That's awesome. So there we go. So things are going well. Um, let's go ahead and build. We're going to need a little bit of a walkway here, right? Let's do that. Let them work on that. They've got their deliveries. They'll get that going. On this one, we need to switch directions again. Remember, red is down, green is up. And we'll actually want to one-way paths. I would like that. Because what we want is we want to put one-way paths out of here. Once they leave that baggage area, they can't come back in. I think that would be very important. We just have to wait for some flights to start coming in and some money today. Now what we can do is we can dismantle that, that. I'm not going to open that until I'm actually ready to go. Not sure if that's a cat making noise or the dog getting into something. We'll figure it out. All right, 88,000. All right, let me extend this foundation there just a touch. Let's go ahead and research one-way paths. What else are we working on? Oh, no, that's already started. We are going to want to get bag hub boosters as well, so we need to get operations too. Doesn't say there's any money in there. Oh, that's in the queue. Okay. All right, so we've got a lot of things going on. Look how low the fuel is. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we can put a baggage carousel. Now, do we want this from below or the same level? I think we're going to want this from below. All right, so we're going to put... We're going to put two up here, right there. Now, the baggage, it took me a long, it took me a while to figure this out. So let's look at utilities. So we have all the baggage claims. We have conveyors. And, oh, that's something else we got to do. Shoot. Uh, that probably needs to be our priority. Let me click on this. Okay. All right. We're going to dismantle that. We're going to build this wall out there. And we're going to dismantle that wall. And then we're going to expand ticketing. 
I don't know if we have to do this, but we're going to do that. All right, back into utilities. We're going to put our conveyor, start it here to there. And then we're going to have a conveyor down transit. Now, do you see the up and down arrow that's at the top of this? That has to hook up to your belt. So we want that on the left side. And we want that right there. And we are going to have to add one more piece of conveyor to it. And I guess that does not have to be part of ticketing, so we are going to remove that. All right. So basically what we've got, let's pause it. Customers will come up, get their tickets, check their bags. The bags will then come down this conveyor and go down here to here. Now we're going to want another, all right, let's come over here and we are going to want a hanger and we're going to probably want, let's get a medium one. We're going to put it right there and then we want to go back to utilities and we want this baggage depot. All right, the blue endpoint is outbound pink endpoint is hubs. All right, we're going to put this right next to here. All right, we'll let them build that. And this is going to take a while. This is not going to happen. In fact, we will not finish this this episode. <laughs> I promise. All right, you can see the number of people already queuing up out here, 64. So have we finished... Operations 2. 14 hours remaining. All right. We'll manage that. We'll get through it. All the flights are looking good. <laughs> and again, we could probably cram more flights in, but then you run the risk of delays, missed flights, canceled flights. I am going to want to buy the vehicle, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to add baggage cars here. We're going to get three of them. All right, now let's pause it again. All right, so this is done, right? So we basically have one incoming, one outgoing, right? Now this is going to have to get to here at some point. Now. What I want to do, A3 is here. Now, we could put the fuel port anywhere. So we could do it on the right side there. And if we look here, you can kind of see the outlay of the gate. Here's A3. So the right side would be up here. Now, that's not my only ticket gate, is it? It's not. Okay. Let's come in and build a wall there. And we're going to take out that zone. Then we're going to dismantle right there. And then we're going to want to get a downward transition here. Does that give me enough room? Um, all right, let's dismantle that wall. I need to see if I can even fit one here. I may not be able to. All right. And, okay, I can put it, I can put it here. There we go. Can't put it there, but I can put it there. Okay. So then we're going to have to run conveyor here. All right. And then we can add a couple more desks. Now you can hook up as many as five, which like we have here. Now in my positioning here, I'm only going to be able to fit three, possibly four. So that's going to be, you know, I will be a little short there and that's okay. All right. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to get a baggage hub. Now I'm going to want to put this right there. And if you lay that, it'll build the foundation around it. Not a big deal. They'll do that. 
And then I want to go down a level here. And we're going to want to build another baggage hub right, right there. All right. All right, so they're working on that. 2.40 a.m., we're down to 53,000. We got our 50,000 for the day. And I don't remember where it caps out, but I think it was around 54,000, maybe 60. So basically one more day. But you can see, look at all the free money we're getting by not cramming our runway. All right, let's build utilities. Now, here's the, here's the key part. When you're going from these down ramps from your desks or up to your baggage claims, you can use the regular conveyor. That's one way. It only goes one direction. If you're going between hubs, then you have to have two-way. So we're going to run... Oh, it will not... It will not do that. Okay, so your that will not lay foundation for you. So we're gonna go right there and right there. All right. So we'll get them to build that, and then we're gonna want them to build. Now you also cannot build. All right, well, we'll we'll get that figured out. <laughs> We've got to have one row. We've got to have an open row like that. All right, so we're going to just have to expand all that. And foundation, you see how expensive it is, so you kind of want to build as little as you need. Okay. We're going to do that. And that, then we're going to get our conveyor here. Now, here's the next thing. You see the arrows. These are pointing out. So if we click on this, well, we don't have to do that because I don't like this one. If we click right here, we can right click. You can be a producer, which means it pushes it out in that direction. Consumer takes it in or hub to hub, which is when you're connecting this between, this conveyor would be between two of these items. So on this one, we've got it coming out, and we want this to be a consumer, and we want this to be a consumer, and we're going to want this to be, and then we're going to use the hub to hub. Okay, so that's what we want to do. So... Utilities, conveyor, out, down, and in. All right, so let's get them to do that. I'm really not worried about what's going on upstairs right now. I'm just going to let that kind of take care of itself. Oh, and we did not finish that, did we? Conveyor. All right. So what that means is now all of our ticketing desks can get baggage down into this hub. So let's pause it again. And we're going to need a construction. Actually, let's get another baggage hub. Didn't we already put one over here? I don't remember. No. All right, we're going to put one of these right there. And we are going to have to build foundation coming out of out of here. So we're going to need that. And then out of there, we're going to need that. But actually, we'll let it do that. I may have to extend this out. I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. All right, now for this... We're going to have to lay foundation, but we want to come out here, and I only need the one, and I want to come right down the middle of these runways, so one, two, three, right there. Now this one, 
we're going to want one, two, three. Yeah, we we'll want to do that. Let's cancel that project and then we'll relay this foundation to there. And I think that'll be enough. We'll give that a try, but we'll look at that next episode, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe. What I'm going to do is let them finishing, finish up the construction on this foundation. We'll come back and we'll do the hookup together in the next episode. See you. Bye.